Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we are going to take a look at the We Light Ninja 300. This is a LED cob light or a chip on board light. And we are going to go ahead and take it out of the package, see what it looks like, and then set it up. And here we go. All right, so first let's go ahead and take a look at this case here and we can see that, well, it's just a nice case. So um, it has uh, straps on here that we can go ahead and we can uh, Velcro up if we want to here. And right here, there's just a little bit of branding. There's zippers here. On the bottom side, there are these little feet there that, uh, that help uh, brace it from any impact and just, uh, you know, make, keep it from uh, getting uh, off. It keeps it off the ground a little bit in case the ground is wet. Again, on this side, we have, uh, we have the little loop so we can put a, uh, a wrist strap, or not a wrist strap, a, a shoulder strap on. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and actually get this thing opened up so that we can take a look at it and, uh, and see what comes inside here. And first things first, right up front, we are going to see the light here. So let's get this out. There we have it. This is the, uh, the Wii light and it says that this is the Ninja 300. So let's go ahead, we can um, move that a little bit there. We can see a little bit of branding where it says We 300. And then on, um, we'll go ahead and get that over there. On this side, we can see here, it says again, We Light, and there actually are some mounting points on here. So you can actually mount this. It looks like, uh, it looks like quarter 20 threads on there so that you can mount that. Now on the back here, um, we have, the controls there so we have a type c uh, input for the light we have uh looks like a a button for mode we have the dimmer right there and then we have the on off switch and the input uh there so it looks like we're going to be able to run this by both dc um, and be able to run it on ac and dc so that we can hook that up so all right let's go ahead and uh just get that we'll put that right in there for just the moment and see what else we get with this and let's see, let's set that right there. And then on, right here, we're going to get uh, the cable. So this is going to be a power cable that we can use to hook up the, uh, the light so that we can plug it in. This is going to be the, uh, the AC cable. And uh, yeah, so there's that. And then on this side here, we are going to have the, uh, we are going to have the, uh, the reflector dish here and just set that right there. And it's just a, uh, a Bowens mount uh, reflector dish so that we can get that and have that nice and set up there. So go ahead and put that back right there for the moment. We are also going to get a remote here so that we can control the light uh, remotely. So if you have it in a place that um, is not easily accessible, let's say you have it mounted up somewhere in your studio, you can actually go ahead and, uh, and get this out. And I got, I got the tape stuck on there. <laughs> I can't even get the remote out. So. There we go. All right. Wow, that tape is really sticky. All right, there we go. So that is the remote and uh, yeah. And it doesn't look like there's any batteries in there, but they do have the infamous silica gel. There's always silica gel. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's see if, what else we may have in here. I didn't actually show you the, the, the chip. So let me just go ahead and show you the chip right quick. And uh, right on the bottom here is gonna be a little uh, release you can push that and then um, and then you can see that there is the chip right there. So, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and put that right back in there. And again, Bowen's mount. So it looks like a very small Bowen's mount. So I'll we'll have to see if we can get uh, something to work with that. Um, inside here, on the top part, it looks like we're going to get a shoulder strap that we can use. That we can, uh, we're going to get a shoulder strap. And I'm not sure exactly what this is. I think this is... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's an extension of some sort. But here's the shoulder straps that we can use. And we also get some um, some paperwork on how to use it and warranty cards and that stuff. So, all right, that's it. So now that we have the, uh, the light all uh, unboxed and shows you everything, let's go ahead and actually hook this thing up and turn it on and see what it looks like and uh, how it performs. All right, so I went ahead and set the light up. I have it on a light stand right here. I have the reflector hooked up and I have a few things that I like about this light already and a couple things that I don't. One of them that I like is that, well, there is a remote with it here and that you can use the remote here to turn the light off and on. 
and we can uh, turn that on just like that and boom it goes and you can adjust the uh, you can adjust the brightness levels on here so if you want to go ahead and just uh, turn that up you can just keep cranking that up and get it very very bright and you can just hold it and you'll see that it's just getting brighter and brighter and brighter you can also go ahead and hold that and you can dim it all the way down until it turns off. So yeah, that is very, very nice. It's super easy to use and, um, and I like that a lot. Um, now, one thing that I don't like about it is that the fan on there is loud. It's very, very loud. Like, I think this fan might be too loud if you're filming video, you might work, this light might work better if you're doing continuous light photography, but I'm just gonna be quiet for a second and see if you can hear it. Yeah, that's, uh, that, if you can hear that, that I can hear it, it's pretty loud, so um, I think it's gonna show up in your video. I have another light that is just over here, it has a fan, and it is just not nearly as loud. This, this fan seems to stay on all the time, even when the light is actually uh, turned off, but still connected to power, it just seems to always have the fan on. Um, another thing about this light that I like is obviously that it's small, and you can get a base plate on there. When it, during the unboxing, there were two screw, uh, two quarter 20 threads on the side. I thought they were actually maybe seeking to mount to a tripod or something. They're not, it's not for that. It's because there is a battery plate that you can buy for it that will allow you to use this with batteries and uses the standard uh, Sony MPF style batteries. So that is actually nice. You have to get that separately. I believe it's about 30 something dollars on Amazon, but it'll allow you to run this on batteries as well as with, um, as well as with uh, AC power. Now, the other thing that I don't like about this light is that, well, the Bones mount on there is like a little mini Bones mount. And so you have to get an actual Bones mount to Bones mount adapter so that you can actually use a regular softbox with this and a regular uh, Bones mount with it. And that's like an extra 20 bucks or so. It's just kind of annoying. I mean, it's just another accessory you have to worry about. You have to carry it with you. You have to buy. It's just, I wish it just had a regular full-size Bowens mount so that you can uh, you can have it and use it. So yeah, that's that's just kind of a, that's kind of a bummer for me. Um, other than that, it's a pretty basic cob light. It's pretty small, it's pretty light. Um, I can't really test it in a soft box. I, that's what I was really looking forward to doing with this is testing it in a soft box, replacing one of my other lights uh, that I have set up and seeing how it performs. But since I don't have a, uh, I don't have a Bowens mount that will work with it, there's nothing I can do right now. So one last thing that I wanna mention before we get out of here, and that is that the little USB-C port on the back of the light there, that is not to uh, charge the light. It is not so that you can power the light at all. It is so that you can hook it up and receive firmware updates, and that is it. So yeah, you can't use the USB-C port to charge it at all. I was hoping that you could actually use it and, char and power the light by an external power bank, but you can't do that, but you can get the uh, you can get that power that uh, battery plate that goes onto the side of the light. So if you want to use the batteries, you can do it that way. So yeah. Anyways, there you have it. That's it. That is the Weed Light Ninja 300. It looks like it is a very nice light for some pur uh, purposes and for some people. I think if you're doing continuous light photography, this is going to be a fantastic light. If you are doing a video um, indoors in a studio like this, I would probably have to think twice about recommending this because that fan is so loud. However, if you're gonna use this light on location, if you're going to be outside shooting and there's other ambient noise, you probably won't hear the fan. But if you're inside in a quiet space like this, you're likely gonna hear it, so yeah. Anyways, there you have it. I'm gonna leave a link to this product down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page, my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and air grease. Peace. Ah!